Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about ad hoc network architecture operations. Ad hoc network representation is shown here. Ad hoc network is a decentralized network in which nodes are moving arbitrarily. It is mainly used in the areas where costly network infrastructure cannot be deployed. Ad hoc network does not have any central access point. Every node is connected to another node physically. It is a temporary network setup generally for emergency purposes. In this architecture, communication is done directly between the nodes. This type of network provides great flexibility. Also, this type of network is fit for smaller coverage area. Interference and noise easily hinder the communication between the nodes. However, detecting an error is easy in ad hoc network as compared to infrastructure network. Also, configuring and reinstallation is quite economical as well. These networks do not need much maintenance. Ad hoc network architecture is shown here. The ad hoc network architecture comprises three categories. They are enabling technologies category, second is networking category and the third one is middleware applications category. Enabling technologies are further classified into several classes. Body area network BAN, personal area network PAN, local area networks LAN, metropolitan area networks MAN, and wide area networks WAN. Enabling technologies are used to provide end-to-end -end reliable data delivery. In an ad hoc scenario, locating receiver node is difficult due to high mobility of mobile nodes. Therefore, localization mechanisms are used to determine the location of a mobile node. Localization is the process by which a mobile node can determine its position with respect to another mobile nodes in the network. Networking representation. Due to the dynamic topology nature of the network, the routing protocols which are designed for wired network are not suitable for ad hoc scenario. So, the routing protocols have to be redesigned to support for ad hoc networks and to improve robustness and adaptability. Middleware and applications is represented here. Ad hoc systems do not have a middleware. However, it is developed to rely on each application to handle all the services it needs in different environments. Ad hoc networking applications are suitable mainly in specialized fields such as emergency services, disaster recovery and environmental monitoring. In addition, ad hoc system can be widely used in home networking, search and rescue operations, commercial and educational applications, sensor networks, etc. 
adhoc network communication there are two types of adhoc communications namely single hop communication and multi hop communication in single hop communication direct communication is possible between two mobile nodes however in multi hop communication each node forwards the message through multiple hops say nodes to deliver to the designated node that is the destination which is far away to source node ad hoc network operations in ad hoc network each mobile node acts as a router and it takes responsibility to perform the following operations cooperate and organize to self configure the network exchanges its own information to its neighbors as beacon messages periodically receives beacons or other packets from neighbors discover forwarder nodes to forward packets to distant locations forward the received packet to a specified destination broadcast the packet to all other neighbors which are in its transmission range mobile node can join the network and it can leave the network at any time thank you very much for listening this lecture if you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends for further updates kindly subscribe my channel thank you